Uh, so this is a little fire comparison uh, with the cellulose and the wood fiber. I'm, I'm not as familiar with the fire characteristics of the wood fiber, so we thought we'd just uh, kind of give it a try with the, the torch. So this is map gas. This is 3,400 degrees. Uh, so this is Nature Tech's uh, cellulose. This is made from cardboard. That's why it has that kind of that tan look to it. Uh, only because newspapers are getting harder to find and cardboard is something where, because we're shipping so much, so many of our products these days, cardboard boxes are becoming uh, easier to find the raw material for. So this is wood fiber. So actually you guys can probably tell me a little bit more about what it is. It's a wood fiber that's reclaimed from the lumber industry in the Black Forest of Germany. It's spruce fir uh, wood. Um, and it's treated with ammonium sulfates instead of boric acid, which is what the cellulose is treated with as a flame retardant. So here we go. Gonna... Similar to the cellulose where you see the wood fibers are glowing, but they're not being consumed by the flame. Um, yes, yeah. like pretty you know very similar basically fire resistant quality uh, the other thing you notice is you know they are self um, extinguishing which means when you take the, the flame off uh, they will then put them put themselves out the fire will won't continue to continue to burn but uh, actually they perform very very similarly uh, so the fire resistance I would imagine is, is gonna be the same so cellulose, the fire resistance is such that 14 inches in a vertical assembly is now code recognized as a fire block. And I'm going to imagine that uh, the Gutex uh, blowing fiber will have similar properties to that. Yeah, pretty identical. Yes. Yeah, yeah amazingly so. Yes.